We're going to go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, this would be kind of like the main discussion that we're going to have. This is not really based on a news story. This is more of like a thing that's recently been going on in the community. So I know you're not a huge fan of physical releases, Anthony. So I know right. that your take on this might be pretty unique compared to, say, my take. I actually like physical releases when possible, but I'm not opposed to downloading games either. If a game's only available digitally and it's one I want to play, I'll get it, you know, or if it's on right. sale, I'll get it. You know, I'm not going to like hold off on doing physical only games and in, in the hopes of that game, maybe some day coming out physically, you know, I'll, if it's a game I really want to play, I'll just get it digitally, whatever, you know, but there's this right. company. They're based out of North Carolina. Uh, they're called limited run games. And uh, for the past couple of years, I think they started in 2015 They've been releasing physical releases of previously digital only games. Um, and they do them in limited batches, which um, at first, when they first started, they were kind of like a small, no name company. And they would do like a batch of 2,000 games or something like that. It was like whatever the minimum they had to publish for Sony to basically allow them to do it because they're only on PS4 and Vita. Um. And their business model has really expanded. They've gotten a lot of popularity over this amongst the collector, collectors of the community. But they have not at all done a good job with it after their initial uh, limited runs. Like, their games sell out mm -hmm. almost immediately. Oh, um, yeah. You know, they just had, last week they had a limited run for Night Trap. And it literally sold out in under two minutes. And we know Night Trap's not a great game. Oh, no. It's <laughs> but, not a, it, I wouldn't buy a Night Trap. I would it, not buy Night Trap. But it's a game that, obviously, even though it's not a great game, it does have its place in the history of gaming. It has a lot of notoriety and nostalgia to some people. And some people probably just wanted to get it because they never played it back in the day. And they just want to see what it's like, you know, because it's definitely a unique kind of game. But uh, Limited Run has done a terrible job with the way they've been releasing games like this. And the, okay. and the way that they do it and in the quantities that they do it. I know the title of the company is Limited Run Games. But they're so much more popular than they were before. Yet they're not really producing more games. You know, I'm really curious as to why that is. Maybe so, to Maybe to keep it Limited Run? I don't know. Literally, that well, might be it. But, I mean, at what point does it stop being limited? Because, like, say if a game had, say, 5,000 or 10,000 copies, that would still arguably be a very limited release compared to what a mainstream game might have. Agree. That's a good point, too. Yeah. So, I mean, what's your thoughts on Limited Run? Limited Run, um... It's a cool idea for collectors. It's an idea that I don't afford to because, you know, my stance on digital, how I like digital. But I'll say this, though. I, I have not liked some of their practices. Um, This is one of them. Another one I could mention is some things with YouTube gamers. I won't get into that, but, you know. Oh, you know, I know exactly done... what you're talking about. I, I We don't have to name names, of course. Yeah, yeah. But Well, they they give certain popular YouTubers more copies than they should of games and that hurts them in that run they you know it's kind of a bs move in my opinion right. and that hurts the limited run that probably is you know they they do too i bet you they produce more than two thousand copies oh yeah or whatever um, it is i mean actually they make more games now i think they they actually just had a limited run today for uh n plus plus and uh another game called lily i'm not really familiar with those games but they just did a limited run today, of course. Uh, Lily sold out really quick. I don't know how fast it was. I, I doubt it was as fast as Night Trap because I'm not really familiar with the game. But N++, at least the last time I checked, was still available. But it was pretty depleted. So I imagine it's probably sold out by now. Right. But, um, okay, so yeah, with the YouTuber thing, that's a very good point. You know, because I actually remember one such YouTuber um that you know limited run of course gave them some games as kind of a promotion so that they can kind of show off and talk about some of their various products that they offer you know and that, and that was their whole intention i think of reaching out to that youtuber is they wanted to kind of build up that brand recognition 
uh, to bring more people over. Which, it's a really weird idea behind it. Like, why would they bring more people over by popularizing it if they're not going to increase the overall quantity of games they're producing? Exactly, and the games that they gave this YouTuber were already sold out. So right, how does exactly. that make Right, how exactly. Does that make they, sense? Were, they were out of print, essentially. Like, which, from what I understand, uh, from what they explain, they do produce extra copies besides what they sell for a couple of different reasons. They uh, do it for, obviously, to replace lost or damaged games. Like, if they send a game to somebody and it gets lost in the mail, for example, they'll still have some copies that they can kind of refulfill that order. Which, that's, that's a good idea, you know, especially when you got something like that, because... I mean, one thing that would really piss somebody off is if they have such a limited number of copies and then their game gets lost in the mail or it gets damaged in transit or something like that. And then limited runs like, oh, well, you know, we don't have any more copies. Sorry, bud. Right. We'll refund you or whatever, you know, but that, that's still going to piss people off. So I can understand why they do that. And I understand that they set a few copies aside for promotional reasons like giveaways and um, to give to YouTubers and such. But this particular YouTuber we're talking about, of course, uh, Limited Run gave them like eight different titles or something like that. It was like seven or eight yeah. titles, which I think was a little excessive for promotional purposes. They could have gave them like two or three, and that would have been plenty sufficient to kind of demonstrate and, some of the different titles that they offer. And you and I got into a Twitter fight, not with each other, but against them and a few supporters of that YouTube. Right, exactly. Yeah, um, that, yeah that's a very good point there. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I get it. It's it's limited run. Like, like you know, not everybody is necessarily going to get a copy of the game. But at this point, I don't see why they can't do pre-orders. Because I've yeah. seen other sites, like uh, Fangamer, for instance. I don't know if you knew this. You, I know you were like Shovel Knight. Did you know that they had a physical release for the Vita? Yes, I did. And it was only available at one place, which was Fangamer. Mm -hmm. And this was literally their first ever physical game that they put out um right. i think they put out like a couple since then but fan gamers known more for merchandise and things like that but they actually put out a physical copy of shovel knight i think for like 30 bucks they opened it up for pre-orders for people to pre-order a copy they did say that they weren't going to produce more than ten thousand. that was like basically their limit but they were going to take pre-orders up until that point but, you know, they did the pre-orders, everything went through smoothly, and they released the game pretty much on schedule. Like, I think it might have been a little bit later, but they were pretty much on time with uh, their estimations with that game. Uh, limited Run, part of the reason why they don't do pre-orders is because they did a pre-order for Skullgirls uh, for mm. the PS4 and Vita. And um, they really screwed up badly with the pre-order of that which it wasn't all their fault mind you uh some of it was that the one of the pre-orders they had was for skull girls for the vita and the vita version kind of got pushed around and screwed up you know like um it took a lot longer than it was supposed to to actually come out right and with the way they had things tied i guess because some people ordered both the ps4 and the vita copy they wanted to wait until both were ready before they released it and still to this point as far as i understand they still have not put out the limited run release of that game oh wow and okay this was a pre-order that happened like a year ago what yeah um so i mean it's not, obviously like i said it's not all the fault of limited run you know a lot of it actually does hold on to the developer because they didn't want to put out a physical release, I understand, until the game was more or less done. Like, they were done working on it. So, they were still patching the game and things like that. But still, like, that's kind of ridiculous. When every other company that I've seen do something like this haven't had that trouble uh, with the way they've yeah. been releasing those games. Matter of fact, Fangamer uh, did a pre-order for Undertale for the PS4. That just came out. And uh, I think they're getting ready to ship that, if I'm not mistaken. I think uh, Limited Run needs to evaluate the way they do business, reevaluate. Which, okay, so, like, I mean, they had a major failing with the that one pre-order that they did. But I'm sure they've learned a lot from that. I mean, 
I don't understand why they still stray away from that model. Just because they had one major misstep, which was, like I said, wasn't entirely their fault. You know, there was other parties involved as well that screwed up. Right. Right. And that's an important point. Right. So. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope that, uh, you know, for everybody's sake, I mean, I think they should consider releasing more copies. And, uh, you know, they did a um, release of Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap for oh, PS4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, that sold out really quick. I think that sold out in like five minutes. And I kept telling people, Play Asia has had this game for two months. You could have already been mm. playing a physical release of this game if you would have just bought it from Play Asia. And they didn't do any arbitrary, oh, we're only going to sell like 3,000 copies and then that's it. You know, kind of thing. Well, Play Asia is, is a pretty good place to go. Yeah, I've actually bought a couple of games from there before, and I uh, highly recommend checking them out. Um, like I said, Fan Gamer has done a few game releases. I am 8 bit actually bought a copy of Hyper Light Drifter uh, from there. I still need to play that. But um, yeah, there's a lot of other alternatives to that, you know, and. Uh, I, I do hope that Limited Run gets their act together with it because they obviously have the notoriety, but if they keep pissing people off, they're going to look for alternatives. Yeah. You know, and those alternatives might ironically push people to buying digital games because maybe they do, just don't want to deal with the uh, forced obscurity of these games. Yeah, maybe yeah. they just, just want to play the game, so they'll just go ahead and download off the PlayStation Store or the Xbox Store or wherever, you know, instead of having to deal with all the stress involved with that. Yeah, I have my criticism of Limited Run. They It was a cool idea, but with the favoritism they gave to certain people and all that, it makes me question them, so. But I hope that they do better, you know, because I'd like to see that model be more successful, but at the same time... They could still be a limited release without having to put out such a small, arbitrary number. 